they have energy. I, I used to be fascinated at the English perchance to adore the English garden. Why is that? They, I mean, they love their gardens. They have, they, they dote and dote and, and fuss and fuss over their flowers outside. I finally realized that they're capturing the sun, the energy of the sun in their gardens because it's cloudy all the time. Mm -hmm. So, in a sense, part of what I'm trying to do with this also is capture the English garden, the value of the English garden in terms of bringing light into the home. Because the garden captures the sun for the Englishman. When he, when he comes home, I mean, and it's a cloudy sky, he has his garden. He wakes up in the morning, he looks out, he sees flowers. Because he's, the sun is often not there. So he, he, his sunrise is, his, is opening his door to his garden. Mm -hmm. so, so I wanted to capture with these pieces, in a sense, the value of, of the sun. That is the feeling that the sun gives you. So, so they're really a blast of energy. I mean, it's, it's an attempt to try and capture that so that you have it in your home, inside. You can put it in a dining room, a kitchen, I mean, numbers of rooms where you, it lights the room. It, it, it adds a bit of sun. You don't even have to turn on a light for it to do that. And so, so the, the colors, the composition, the structure is all based on, in a sense, sunlight. It's a, it's, a, it's a work of light rather than painting in a way. And so the rooster was the best subject. I tried eagles, I tried uh, uh, peacocks, I tried other animals like bears, and uh, uh, I did horses. Uh, I can't think immediately of all, but I tried quite a few different animals and birds before I settled on the rooster. Because the rooster also has an attitude. I mean, a sense of, I mean, he's, he, I mean a rooster will face down a lion, and he has no fear. And one of the things that predominates in, in the human species is that we always have fear of the unknown, of not being good enough, or not being strong enough, or wise enough. There's a lingering fear in us in, in many categories. This rooster doesn't have it. He's, he's willing to fight. Yeah, he doesn't have it. And so I thought it as an encouragement also to us, more fearless. This subject was a good subject, because the rooster is not. There's no fear. So the combination of fearlessness and a, a willingness on that behalf to just go forward and just do things and be strong or try to be strong, along with the energy of the sun, was the, I mean I couldn't do it in other animals. I tried the, the eagle and the uh, and the hawk. These kinds of birds were they're too stoic. They're too hard. And then the peacock was a little bit too light. The rooster with the color and also this this great sense of of ability to dominate or see itself through something it was a really good combination for sun, for the sunlight. Because what does the sun do, really? And it just pushes through. I mean, it's the whole, the whole solar system and how far beyond is illuminated by the presence of the sun. So it has a tremendous influence. So it was a combination of these two things. So even though it looks really simple, actually the, the mental structure behind it is fairly complex. At the same time, it is also really simple, and it's, it's just light. It's just a, it's a, a composition of, of the way to capture light, the structure I use to do that, in the same way that this garden captures light.